Have you ever looked at yourself either in the mirror or by self-reflection and thought, why am I like this? Why do I keep messing up? I just have crap jeans. I can't seem to stop myself. Yes, you have. We all have. You don't have to admit it out loud. Just know that we get it. We're here to bring some hope. And it's called neuroplasticity. It's a real sciencey term that means that your brain can modify, adapt, and not only change how it does its thing, but its structure too. In other words, your brain is not stuck in a state of being rigidly absolute. You know, like a Sith, even Vader switches sides. We're gonna give you a few ways to access that flexi bendiness to let your inner Jedi thrive. Number one, play video games. It's not just a rumor. Video games can expand your brain's abilities, no matter what boomer types might say. There have been several scholarly serious studies done on the effects of various video games on the brain. They've been found to increase and improve a wide range of functions like problem solving, decision making, and motor coordination. And that's just the tip of the proverbial iceberg. If you take a step back and think about it, it makes sense, especially with how intricate and advanced video games are today. They give us life function practices by mimicking in real life interactions. So like, no, you're not gonna open your door to see World of Warcraft's Stormwind City across the street, but as a player, you'd recognize it in game. In fact, you'd recognize lots of regularly visited places within the game. This extends to having better scene recognition overall in real life. Video games basically trick you into practicing something for several hours. Not that we'd know anything about that. Ah, <sighs> number two, breathe deeply. It sounds cliche, but it's true. There's breathing and then there's breathing. When you take those all the way down belly breaths, that's deep breathing. When you do this, it's like a quickie mini meditation. Your heart rate sinks to your breath and your brain gets more of that sweet, sweet oxygen. This in turn gives your brain the A-OK -okay to give the vagus nerve some encouragement. The vagus nerve is the main manager of the relaxation, rest, and digest nervous system. This chill response system is called the parasympathetic nervous system, as opposed to its high, strong, twitchy friend, the fight or flight sympathetic nervous system. Letting the parasympathetic nervous system regularly get more playtime will eventually rewire your brain to keep the intensity of the fight or flight system under better control. Number three, express gratitude. We're not saying you're ungrateful. We're saying that as a brain hack, it's useful to consciously say the things that you're grateful for, whether it's speaking phrases in your mind, writing it down, or even saying it out loud. Those expressions of gratitude are not prejudiced by size. They can be about something good that happened in the past week or an aspect of yourself that you're grateful for. Here, we'll start you off with an example or two. I'm grateful for the massive sale at my go-to electronics site that happened this week. I am grateful for who I am because I can share brain hack tips, making the world a little brighter. This conscious focus on the positive is like pumping iron for the brain. Reps of gratitude practice have been found to strengthen things like social intelligence, motivation, and altruism. Number four, make some music. Hey, if you have rock band or guitar hero, you could combine this with the first hack we mentioned. If you've ever dabbled in the practice of playing an instrument or doing weekly karaoke jams, you've made music. Bet you didn't realize you were sneaking in brain practice to enhance audio and visual perception, focus and memory too. It's even good for the long haul. Musical training can slow down old age cognitive decline. So you can be more witty, sharp, Betty White and less confused, forgetful Grandpa Simpson. And number five, doodle. Ha, in your face, elementary school teachers. If you ever got in trouble for doodling when you were a kid, you can now rest assured that you were simply exercising your brain. You were ahead of your time. Art students were found to have enhanced creative abilities while practicing and even casual doodling was found to have benefits. So no matter how trained or untrained you may be, simple doodling can improve imagination, focus, memory, and confidence. So there you have it. Are you surprised? 
We're guessing you've done one or more of these things and might have felt guilty for doing it rather than more important things. Now you know you were actually doing something healthy for your mind and brain. Which of these have you tried or experienced in the past? What effect have you found? If you used to do one of these things then stopped, what changes did you notice? Are you looking for a cuddly companion that brings positivity and mental wellness to your daily life? Get your very own sigh. The lovable plushie is here to brighten your days. It embodies the spirit of Psych2Go and it serves as a reminder to prioritize your mental well-being. Its green leaf symbolizes growth, renewal, and the importance of self-care, whether it's for yourself or as a thoughtful gift for a loved one. Sai is ready to be your snuggly friend through all of life's ups and downs. Buy your Sai plushie today. Link is listed in the description box.